And then when that first hit record happened, what did I feel like? I'm standing in the Ready, Steady, Go studio. I'm, I'm live because I never even had recorded a record. I was live on television and I hadn't even met, released a single. All the other bands were miming because they had made a single. So I'm standing up there on a plinth like this, singing live and the girls were screaming. And Gypsy Dave, my road buddy, when we used to live on the roads and play vagabond and sleep on the beaches with St. Ives, he was there ready to catch me when they grabbed me. And so it was Donovan mania and it was laughable. It wasn't scary. It was funny because Gypsy and I couldn't believe it. It's like the Help movie. The Beatles are being chased. It's the Donovan movie. Donovan's being chased. Uh, wherever we played, uh, there would be a hysteria. I think it was part of the, just part of the routine. It was almost like a therapy. You could get all this screaming and the, the ambulance people absolutely hated us because they pulled about 100 girls out of this thing that passed out and fainted and everything else. And they had to do all that. And uh, of course, we were only on stage for a very short time because it was got, the girls were jumping over the orchestra pit onto the stage and they, this was getting dangerous. And uh, people threatened to jump from the balcony if they didn't get your autograph and real ridiculous things. And it was into this hysteria. And uh, if we, it, as you went up north, it got worse. And in Scotland, we had to go into the theater at four in the morning. That's the only way they could get, guarantee this safety. But we had to climb out of uh, theaters onto buses and because uh, they were double deckers and that, that would get us away. Uh, we'd come to Heathrow and they had to go in this. It'd be like Khrushchev coming there or something. And there were so many girls on the roof that the thing was gonna collapse. They got very nervous. And uh, it, wherever you went, there, you, were, you were guided by uh, all this uh, hysteria and so forth. Now the kids would run after us out of Ready Steady Go down the back alley while we ran. There was no security. There was no, no plan. After a concert was over, the DJs turned the lights up. Extremely dangerous. That meant that the audience, who were in a high state of hysteria, would rush to their heroes to the stage the heroes didn't have any car to go to often and were running down the street. So the help movie is true. But then we started getting organized. But Gypsy said a couple of times, why don't we let them catch us? <laughs> because they're all beautiful young girls. I said, but Gypsy, there's 27 of them chasing us. <laughs> and not only that, they've got scissors in their hands. And he said, oh yeah, right. And so after a while, it wasn't a laugh. It was dead serious, not only for us, but for them, because they're all falling over each other and they're hurting themselves. Went to a show and it was a more a smaller one. I call it, you know, two and a half thousand, kind of like the Apollo here, one of these theater shows. And uh, I went up and you know, the promoter came over and said, oh, well, you ready for the show now and that? And I said, yeah. He said, have you got all your security in place? He said, no problem. Everything's taken care of. Everything's in place and that. And I said, you know, our fans are quite hysterical and they get really out of hand. He said, oh, we've had the Beatles here. We've had the Stones, everything. I said, okay. So I let it go. The first band came on and I was looking in the wings and I went back in the dressing room and I said, Scott, there's about six people in wheelchairs there at the front. He said, what are they doing there? <laughs> I said, well, they're there watching the show, I would imagine, or something. He said, well, I'm not, they can't be there. Tell the, tell the guy. So I went to the promoter, right? And I said, uh, I said, those kids in the wheelchair, I think you're going to find that this is quite a dangerous thing. And he said, no, no, I've had, I said, I had the Beatles, I had, we don't have any problem." And I said, well, we're not going on unless you move them. And he said, well, if you don't go on, then we'll sue you and all that. I said, okay, we're going on. <laughs> and, that, and I said, but remember now, I have told you this. And he said, yeah, he must, did not bet an eye, shake, nothing. And uh, we're, okay, and now here they are, the Walker Brothers. Curtain goes up, crowd comes forward, wheelchairs are gone. Disappeared, the kids are on the ground, whatever. Uh, all the kids are running on the stage. He's never seen anything like this. He's never ran across this type of hysteria. Curtain came down, that was the end of the show. He came back, his eyes were gigantic. We're all gonna be sued, I'm going to prison and everything. I said, I tried to tell you. 
and that. And he said, I had the Beatles, I had the Stones as he rode off in the sunset. So what was it like being in the center of it all? We intended it and we wanted it, but you know the Beatles had to pack it in, touring that is, because it got ridiculous. Now, why? George said he nearly lost his eye. Somebody in the audience would say, I threw the penny that hit George Harrison on the stage. It was my penny. And George said, yeah, but it was my eye. Every day is sun.